Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas everybody! I am uh, spending my Christmas morning at a West Texas picnic area over here. That right there, if you saw yesterday's video, is Guadalupe Mountain National Park. We're just on the outskirts of it. And uh, our friend Nick, uh, Black Pearl Travato, took off. Claire Bear's doing her Christmas makeup. How you feeling this Christmas day? Cold. Cold? Yeah, it was a little cold last night. It was like, I don't know, 29 degrees or something like that. Uh, I tried to fly the, fly the drone this morning. Something was going on with it. So, yet again, DJI Mavic Pro not functioning. <laughs> the uh, Also, the gimbal is not working. Uh, I don't know if it's a setting or if it's broken. Um, but uh, yeah, it wasn't also was, wasn't working this morning when Nick was heading out. So uh, today being Christmas, a lot of stuff is closed, including the national parks. So we can't go inside there unless we were to walk in, I suppose. Um, so we're gonna head west and head towards a hot spring at a resort, which is for sure open. So that'll be a nice, fun thing to do, and uh, we can warm Claire Bear up a little bit. Also, if you saw yesterday's video, you'll you'll see that I did a giveaway for some uh, postcards. I will hand write a postcard to someone. I will do a, a giveaway in a another video. <coughs> I'll probably do them like a week apart or so. The reason being, I want to space them out and give everybody a chance. Sometimes people binge watch. Some people. Um, yeah, like catch up all at once and stuff like that. So I want to make sure everybody has a chance. And I think today's, there was a video, there's two videos that actually went out today. I had to take it down because it was for the giveaway. It was supposed to be for tomorrow. So um, yeah, it'll just be a simple thing. I'll, I'll announce that in the future, but just a little way to give back to you guys for being such awesome viewers, for supporting me on my journey and the channel. And uh, just a little token of my appreciation. What? 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 Wondering what you got for me Egyptian cutter is up to be a lady on me I'm wondering what you got for me A little chilly, huh? Oh, interesting echo. Echo! <laughs> cool. We're uh, just driving down the road. Guadalupe Mountains, right back there. You can barely see it. And uh, El Paso is the destination today. Oh, uh, update. I sent an email to... Uh, the guy over at Riverbend Hot Springs, a uh, really nice guy, Jake, who's a manager, is by far my favorite commercial hot spring that I've ever been to. Um, and I, today's Christmas. I said, hey, man, look, I know it's Christmas. I don't mean to bother you, but uh, we're coming to town either way. And, uh, yeah, they're going to comp us a, uh, a dip in the, the springs uh, tonight. It was going to be awesome. But, um, yeah, we just spotted this um, abandoned something on the side of the road. I'm gonna guess it was like some kind of old motel. Of course, I could be totally wrong, but this seems like it would be a hotel, a motel. Yeah, bathroom? Right bathroom? Some, some kind of something. Looks like that's maybe multiple toilet situation. Um, is that what that is? Yeah, that was the bathroom. Cool. So multiple toilets and then um, or showers, and it looks like there's like little rooms here. Just so fascinating to see these old places and wonder what they used to look like way back in the day. Um, but here's the leftovers. Here's I'm guessing maybe is where you park your car or something like that. What do you think? I don't know. Probably a hotel. I would imagine. Motel, hotel, holiday inn. There's windows on the back. Yeah. There's not windows in here though. Yeah, this is interesting. It looks like a water tank right there. So that's uh, probably where, well, of course, that's where the water came from over here to, uh, to plumb the toilets and the showers. But um, yeah, this is just an example of the cool stuff you see when you're on really small highways 
in uh, middle of nowhere America. I just kicked dirt all in my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> For the time, you got the damn right. What? What? Everything you do gives me butterflies. Ask you for the time. So, about 30 miles east of El Paso is a alien dome spaceship dome office. Uh, apparently, it's now for sale. Um, <laughs> so. So we're gonna have a peek here. If anybody's interested, well, you can come out and purchase your own spacecraft uh, office building or home. Um, I don't know what used to be here, but it says the office is open by appointment only. Um, <laughs> quite interesting. They definitely have a sense of humor because uh, there's a little, it's a Marvin the Martian right there. Um, <laughs> which is pretty pretty awesome. I love when people have creativity and a sense of humor and uh, you know build something unique. Uh, it definitely makes um, it makes for a conversation piece. Just like the bus in a way is a conversation piece. It's not your typical RV. This too is not your typical home. I'm wondering what you got for me. Well, 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 one heck of a drive later and look where we are. My favorite commercial hot springs in the planet, uh, Riverbend Hot Springs in Truth or Consequences. We're gonna go uh, check in and then we're gonna jump in the pool for, I don't know, hours and hours and hours today. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Here is the hot springs property from the Rio Grande. So there, as you can see, there are multiple little pools. This is a whisper zone, so I'll stop talking in a minute. There's three over there. And then there's a large one under the shack. And this is the incredible, incredible view, which is right down on a very, very slow section of the Rio Grande. Oh, look, there's even a bunch of carp down there too. Oh, 
So, the most amazing thing happened. Uh, we were about ready to leave. And then Jake came by, the manager of Riverbend, hooked me up with a, a wristband after already being in the hot spring for an hour. And Claire. And basically, we're going to go now for a one-hour private tub, uh, which you'll see in a second. Um, but we did stop by. We got a little Christmas dinner over at Denny's. Got a little pot roast and turkey dinner. A little bit better than lunch today. <laughs> it's Sonic. Um, anyways, let's go check out this private tub. So, we're good. We have a bathroom. We have a shower 24 hours a day over here. Well, overnight, I should say. And, uh, yeah, perfect little boondocking spot right on the Rio Grande, right at a hot spring. How amazing is that? outside of the hot spring and this right here is the private pool um, I really don't need to tell you guys how incredible it was because I already told you how incredible the other water is and it's essentially the same water the same incredible factor which is like off the charts and uh, this way you just have a nice private uh, area and you know it's just you and friend or you by yourself or you and a special somebody. In my case, it was me in a very full stomach and the clerodactyl in her very full stomach. <laughs> oh man, what an incredible, incredible place. If you guys come through Tier C, I highly recommend this place. It's very clean, very nice, and the people here are very friendly. All right, this is what the incredible nighttime scene is like. They have a bunch of LEDs right on the river and uh, really cool light features here as well coming off of a uh, little laser, laser LED or something like that. Across the way, there's uh, lasers <laughs> pointed out across the Rio Grande. And uh, in a nutshell, you can see why. It's one of my favorite commercial hot springs to go to. It's just super nice. There's hammocks over there, uh, couches, lounges, um, great water. Uh, they flush them out every single day. I'm sold. So it is time now for bed. I am exhausted and I'm still super full. <laughs>